everybody, this is Lee from Bald Thoughts, where we teach you how to travel more, spend less, and live better. And uh, we're here at the website for moneytips.com. And today we're focused on credit. And so what we want to do is be able to figure out how we can get our free credit score and free report so that way you can figure out what's the best way to boost your credit score. That way you can get approved for the best terms on loans and the best credit cards are going to earn all the miles and points that are going to allow us to do free travel. So um, moneytips.com has a great product that's called uh, their credit manager, which provides a free credit score, free credit report, and interactive tools that help you figure out what's the best way to improve your credit score. Let's go ahead and sign up and see what we can do to improve your score. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to scroll down here, open up our free account, and uh, hey, here we go. Uh, I'm in. See what my credit score is. Zooming up, zooming up, zooming up. Uh, 731. So that's as of today. Hmm. Uh, so let's let's uh, let's see here. We're gonna have to verify email address later on and verify my phone number. That's not a big deal. So uh, as we're again, we're looking here. You can see the credit score. I think it probably should be a little bit higher, right? Uh, I have good credit. I never miss a payment. Don't use up too much of my utilization. Uh, you know, as far as my limits go. So. Uh, let's take action and see what we can do to improve this score. So uh, right now you can, if you want, you can upgrade to full protection, uh, be, be able to uh, protect your identity. A lot of good information here uh, as far as protection wise, million dollars in identity theft insurance, advanced uh, uh, ID uh, alerts, um, and then, uh, uh, let's see here. So if you, if you're ever compromised one of your cards, then there's different things you can do here. Uh, money tips walks you through, uh, all the different steps you need to do to make sure that you are protected and, and the bad guys are staying out of your credit and see what would happen if I, it takes a look at all of your balances, your mortgages, uh, you know, any sort of credit cards, things like that. I have a lot of different uh, mortgage debt because I have uh, my home, I've got rental properties, a lot of things like that. Uh, luckily, I've already paid off my uh, my student loans, paid off my truck note, things like that. So I don't have any of those type of worries. So this is like good debt, if you th if you want to think of it that way. Uh, so you can see there's uh, almost eight hundred thousand dollars in mortgages, uh, almost thirty thousand dollars in credit cards, uh, which Really, those are just whatever the balance is uh, as of the statement goes. Again, if you're messing with uh, travel rewards, you do not want to carry any balances and pay any interest because whatever interest that you're paying is not worth the rewards that you're going to be getting. So, and then I have, I have my home line of credit. So, uh, if you want to look at my borrowing eligibility, you can see that again, my credit score is in the, about around 730. And uh, so that gives me a pretty good indication that if I apply for, for most of the credit cards out there, I'm going to get approved. So that's not too bad. So you can see if, uh, so a lot of good information there. And let's go back to the credit manager. And I think this is where the tools are. Waiting for this to come up. So the good thing is I have it. 82 cards, 100% on time payments. My utilization is good at 16%. Generally, you want to be below 30%, but the lower, the better. Uh, no derogatory marks. Five credit inquiries because I just finished a refinance on one of my rental properties. And the average age of my credit is six years and two months because uh, I've applied for a new couple of new cards uh, over the last couple of years. And uh, every couple of years, well, probably about at least once a year for the last several years, uh, keep adding new rental properties. So uh, those new those new rental properties, those mortgages on those are dragging down my average age of credit. Uh, generally, to get a high credit score, you want to be uh, at least uh, five years and above on, on your uh, average age of credit. Let's see. All my payments are on time. 
No lates, no lates, no lates. Love to see that. 1,399 payments. That is a lot of payments, but they're all on time, so it's good. And again, if you have any accounts that you want to dispute, you can do that here. Um, you can see that. That's perfect. And what is the credit, uh, credit card usage. You see the, the utilization on, on each of the different cards based on the limits and the balances. So again, you can see preferably down closer to zero would be optimal as far as uh, getting the best credit, course, credit, course, credit score possible. But most people are kind of in this range here, that 10 to 10 to 40 percent. That's generally where people are. And uh, that's why my credit score is about average at, at uh, 730 versus like an average of around 720. Uh, I have 178,000 of available limit versus a total balance of about 30,000. So let's go to the next section. Regulatory remarks. Again, everything's good. No collections, no problems. Nothing that's, a, that's dragging down my score. So that's great to see. And uh, credit inquiries. You can see what, what uh, inquiries have been. And uh, this is from the mortgage I recently did. And then uh, the mortgage that I did a year ago, and then a couple credit card uh, inquiries almost two years ago that are about ready to fall off. So that's good. And then the average age of credit, you could do better. Again, they want you to, in this case, uh, or, or to get the best possible score, uh, you want to be over nine years. And you can see here, again, anything better than five is, is probably kind of in the normal range, a range that you want to be in. So uh, you can see that some of my cards have been around for a long time. Some of them, you know, not so long and are dragging down the average. So one of the things that you want to do, if you want to boost your score, take a look at the cards that are in your wallet. And if you see something that isn't, uh, hasn't been around very long and isn't something that you definitely want to have, go ahead and close that card, transfer the limit over to another card that you have at that bank, because you definitely want to keep that, those available credits. Uh, and then based on that, close the card, and it'll boost up your average age. So you can see that uh, eight of my cards are nine years older. Uh, five of them are in that, that six to nine years. And 21 are in that under five years. And that's that and this here that's five, those are really what's dragging down my average age. And if I close a few of these cards in this range here, the 21, close a couple of them that are in the less than five, uh, boom, it'll probably shoot up my credit score, you know, a handful of points. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed seeing a peek into my finances and, uh, and being able to see how the, the Money Tips uh, Credit Score Manager works. And uh, have a great day. Look forward to talking to you soon. If you like the video, please share it. Uh, comment below as far as what your thoughts were on the video. And hopefully uh, you get a chance to check out moneytips.com, see what the credit manager says about your credit, and see how you can improve uh, your score uh, that we can get better terms on the next loan that you go for. All right, everybody have a great day.